It's been kind of slow so far. Uh, I got two fish in the boat. No big one, neither one of them are big, but getting a few bites right here. We haven't put any in the boat. A lot of boats covering up a lot of the good, a lot of the people, a lot of people found the same fish this week. And you can't get on nothing. You can't pull up and fish it when there's six other boats on it already. I don't know. It's, we're gonna run. We're fixing to leave here in just a little bit and try to go hit a few more spots. They're pulling current today. It's a day to it's a day to catch them out here, but gonna be at the right place at the right time. There's a school down there. Right. I don't even know if he's gonna make the team, but we're gonna try everything we can to get him to make it. There was a little wad of them down there. When I got that bite, I was looking at my unit. They were all under the boat. There was a wad of them down there. I caught that one. I caught a good bunch of them, but as soon as you got your first bite, I had a bite. This wind's one. blowing us around. It's kind of hard yeah. to stay on them. Good one. Measure, stick him just real quick. Where'd you put it? Back in the hole? There's normally not many, a whole bunch of fish on here, but there's normally some good ones. Which she just caught a short and a barely a keeper, but there's normally some pretty good ones sitting up here. And you just come up here without grafting them so they don't get spooked and just make a few casts. If they're there, they're there. If they're not, move on. Afraid they're little ones. So what's your plan for the rest of the day? Like, what do y'all got planned? We've got catch a, two. Yeah. Big ones. And yeah, we're gonna catch two big ones at some point. It's just inevitable. Uh, we're fixing to run up here a little further up into Tennessee and see if we can't get on a spot up there, which I highly doubt we do. But you never know. Um. And if that don't work out, we're gonna run back towards the boat ramp towards Alabama. And we've got a shell bed down there that we're gonna fish. We caught a four pounder on it in practice on like the second cast. So, I don't know. Another bite? I don't know. Felt different. All right, from Mississippi, coming up next, Cody and Jeff. 
ready to get them for today. Hello, Jeff. All right. 998. 998. I know you owe a big shout out to somebody at that blue tent. Tell me about your practice. Uh, on day two of practice, I had a little, little mechanical issue with my motor, and I brought it up here to the, the service truck, the Yamaha service truck, Mr. Dan. I can't say enough about him. He, he's he's one of the best around for sure. He fixed us up real quick, and we were able, we didn't hardly we missed one afternoon of practice. So ready to go get them then. All right, how long a run did y'all make? <laughs> we made it. A long run total, but we stopped a long time, a lot of times before we got down there. Before you made it all the way down. All right, what's the furthest away that you caught a fish? Uh, about 40 miles. 40 miles away, caught furthest away to catch one of these fish. Y'all are ready to go get them in the morning. You better get them that early bite in the morning.